633. We're going to talk about state revenue and federal level revenue at a later date, at a later time, but primarily we can control local revenue, right? We don't have a lot of vote on state revenue or what the federal government sends it to us. So let's look at the next slide. If we can operate with that $45 million number I told you to write down or just remember, but it's closer to 46. And this is a new consolidated per bill value, $2,802,088. We received this from the tax commissioner's office. Uh, this is a consolidated tax table. I was actually blending this stuff together and create a tax table. And somebody said, oh, by the way, we got it. Mr. Warren Turner said, we have it. You want it? I said, yeah. I spent about two days building this thing. The good news is I was a math teacher and I was close, okay? But this is actual 16.317 meals. Now some of you, if you're balanced to city property owners, you're thinking, okay, 16.98 meals, 16.317 meals. If you're a lounge property owner, you're thinking 14.7, 16.3, okay? Don't do that math yet, okay? Because it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, don't do that math. I'm going to make it simpler for us. I'm a simple guy. Let's look at the next part. One of the tasks that was asked of me was, is there's been a, there's been a uh, I have this down here uh, to say it the right way, a, a projection, a consolidation projection. There's, there's information that says, hey, we want to consolidate school systems. And here's our study. Here's our Carl Vincent study. Here's our website. Here's our, here's our, uh, uh, projected data, proposed data, our information. And here it is. This is what was given to me. This is what I pulled off. This is what I've been working on. And on this sheet, what we begin to talk about is balance. We talk about balance of graduation rates. We want, by the way, 100% graduation rate. As an old high school teacher, 100%. So there is what we're shooting for. We want to balance in terms of diversity. And that diversity term diversity is defined in many different ways. But what I'm focused on, and now I'm going to show the next balloon, I'm looking at the financial data. And the financial data here says that in a consolidated system, QE is stating that the balance, or the, the, what we're looking for is the per student expenditures. We want it to be similar to the same. Lowndes County School System, according to the QE data, spends $2,167 more per student. That would be an annual cost if we bring the number of students that is hit behind our balloon to balance the city school system. If we, if we did that, we'd have to spend $16,083,474 more annually. Okay? Annually. And this data is documented down at the bottom. It's also on the QE website, which I referenced on the previous slide. Well, let's see what that would do. You remember where we were, right? $45 million and change, $45,700,000. million, $16.317, wasn't it the millage rate? Everybody was calculating up or down. If we do this, it's going to cost $5.74 additional bills under the new consolidated rate. So let's go to the next slide. <coughs> to meet the requirements, we'd have to go to 22.07 meals, and that's a little rounded one way or the other if you go on and do the math. And state law restricts us at a maximum millage rate of 21 meals. 20 meals, and then we get another meal through legislative uh, action. So we can get up to 21 meals. I'm going to talk.